Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design a staircase which is a dog leg and having a different condition like we know the width of the landing and the flight. This width of the landing and the flight width is known. In the previous case what we have done we know the this well size right. We know this size and we have find out the going length, the landing width and the flight width okay now in this case we know the landing width we can fix the landing width we can fix the flight width and according to that we will know the well size like length of the well and the width of the well okay next we will design this is the elevation part this is the plan and we will design the total weight of the west slab we will calculate firstly we will calculate the clear length of the well clear width of the well height of the each flight will be calculated number of the riser will be calculated how much the riser for the height number of treads and the going length will be calculated total weight of the waist slab will be calculated next the landing load per meter width will be calculated next the design calculation we need to find out the reactions and finally the maximum movement at the center of the this loading beam right so check for the depth it is okay or not what we have provided main reinforcement and along the longitudinal direction this is the main reinforcement and along the distribution in the shorter direction it will be the distribution next is the shear check will be done and finally the deflection check will be okay or not and finally the development length okay let's start for this condition where the landing width and the flight width is known now we have to design a staircase having a live load live load is given 3 kN per meter square floor finish is given 1 kN per meter square and the floor to floor height is 3300 right so width of the each landing is 1000 mm and width of the each flight this width of the each landing this is the mid landing okay and width of the each flight is 1 meter support width is 230 mm now this is the beam which is support the landing is this flight is supported on this beam and these beams support width is 230 mm riser is 150 and tread is 250 mm use m20 and fe415 right so let's start so you need to fill your data in these pink cells only 1000 mm for the landing width and the width of the flight is also 1000 mm right now floor to floor height is 3300 and the tread is 250 mm and the riser is 150 mm okay and fy is 415 and fck is m20 and the support weight is 230 mm in this case this is the beam now you can see that the clear length of the well the length of the well is 4.5 meter it's calculated and the clear width of the well is 2.10 right this is the support weight 0.23 and the height of the each flight is 1650 because 3300 is the total floor to floor height floor to floor height 3300 now height of the each flight will be half of this so 1.65 is the height of the each flight number of riser per flight is 11 you can see that one is here and 11th is the mid landing riser and number of tread is number of riser minus 1 that is 10 so number of tread 10 and the length of going is number of tread into t t value is 250 250 into 10 is 2500 all the formulas have been written here okay now let's find out the total weight of the base slab this is the base slab okay we are finding out the total so effective depth is given by effective span divided by 25 right what is the effective span center to center distance between these supports and if this is 4.50 now you can see that this has been calculated so 0.23 by 2 here and 0.3 by 2 here so this comes out to be 4730 so 4730 divided by 25 gives me the effective depth now if you choose the 10 mm dial and clear cover is 15 mm suppose now finally the overall thickness you can see that 210 for this waste lab so we have find out the overall thickness now self weight of the rcc base slab this is the base slab in horizontal project projection by this form formula 
under root of r square plus t square into d we have calculated 210 into rcc 25 into 1 for 1 meter divide by t what is divided by t for the horizontal projection we are finding the slab base slab self weight along the horizontal direction so we need to divide by the t this is the formula so finally you can see that self weight of the rcc base slab is calculated self is of the rcc steps these are the rcc steps so half base into height r into t what is r r is riser t is the tread divided by t for the horizontal projection weight so finally this 1.88 kilonewton meter so total add up now we, you can see that live load is given as 3 and floor finish is 1 so you need to put live load as 3 and floor finish is 1 now you can see that total factor load on going is calculated this is 18 now for the landing load this is for landing load this is landing and again this is landing so landing load self weight is calculated because for the d into 1 into 25 live load is 3 again and the floor finish is 1 so finally you can see that total factor load on landing is also calculated 13.88 here and this landing is also 13.88 and the going the weight is 18 kilometer meter now you can see that the design calculation has already been done ra equals to ra rp w l by 2 and uh, this has been calculated w l by 2 so finally reaction is being calculated 37.97 here and rb is also 37.97 now maximum bending moment at the center you have to calculate the maximum bending moment at this particular point so you can see that all the loads like ra into the distance this distance half minus this particular distance udl is there and again minus 18 point this so overall the formula is here so finally you can see that the maximum movement is calculated now check for depth for this maximum movement you can see that for the b is 1000 mm for movement coefficient for fe415 is 0 0.138 now e required is calculated by this formula so 130 is d required and what we have provided 189 this is the D we have provided fine so depth for check is okay main reinforcement along this longitudinal direction this red portion is the main reinforcement right so maximum moment for which we are finding the PT required by this formula okay 0 0.404 AST required is this much if we are choosing for 10 mm dia now you can see that 10 mm 100 mm center to center for rule for spacing is also there so 10 mm 100 mm center to center for the this longitudinal direction right this red portion this is the main reinforcement and this blue one is the nominal reinforcement that is the distribution bars so for ast minimum is 0.12 percent of b into d so if you are choosing the nominal 8 mm dia now you can see that the spacing is calculated as 190 mm and this is the rule for spacing for the distribution bar fine so we have calculated and then now the shear check for the shear check you have to go for the interpolation this is the AST provided 0 0.41 and what it will be fall between 0.25 so you have to choose 0 0.25 and 0 0.50 and we are going to choose from this table 19 for M20 for 2.5 it is 0 0.36 you need to fill the here 0 0.36 and this is 0 0.48 0 0.48 now tau c value is calculated by interpolation 0.439 now you can see that 0.439 round of value is 0.44 and tau v is 0.20 tau v is less than tau c value so hence safe in here okay shear check is done deflection check you can see that pt provided is 0.41 fs is calculated by this formula 234 so now you have to go for 0.41 and 234 will lie here only so this is modification factor is 1.3 okay now you can see that l by d max is this much 26 and l by d provided is 5.29 so hence it is okay l by d max is greater than l by d provided fine so now development length check for m20 you need to go for the 1.2 so now 480 is the ld provided so you can see that detailing all already been done this is the center to center distance this is for going this is for landing portion the main reinforcement in the red portion 10 mm at the rate 100 mm center to center and distribution bar is 8 mm 190 mm center to center 
red is 250 and riser is 150 mm and what is ld this is the ld the development length 480 mm and this is the mid level height 1650 so mid land landing beam this is the mid landing beam right if you change the width of the landing and the width of the each flight like 1200 now you can see that total length of the clear well is changed right this is 4.90 and 2.50 now the effective depth has been changed finally the overall depth is also changed everything the loading condition has been changed and the maximum movement according to this has been calculated now the depth for the check is okay now you can see that if you choose the 10 mm dia so 90 mm is the required for the spacing and for the 8 mm is 180 mm okay shape in shear also deflection check is okay and the development check is 480 so friends if you like this video and if you want this extra sheet please mail me and whatsapp me on my whatsapp number thanks for watching and keep watching